Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird and welcome back to Disney Magical World. Last time we met the King of Castleton and like the wise ruler he is, he left the fate of the town cafe in the hands of whoever could open a single chest. Also, Goofy asked us to get rid of an unmarked burlap bag, but first we're gonna head over to Chippendale's workshop. We got that slender branch from Donald and I wanna go fishing, so I think Chippendale can help us out here. Oh, let's get that Chippendale card. Hello, Chip. Could you make this slender branch into something good for me? All right, I'm fixing our machinery. Uh, once that's done, you can start making furniture. Okay, so we gotta wait on furniture, but we can make, here we go. Oh, I bought that sturdy thread. I knew we would need it. Let's make a fishing rod. And I think Donald's probably gonna teach us how to fish. He hasn't really done much but fish this whole time. At least he's doing something. Most of these characters just stand around, not earning any money or doing anything. <laughs> Donald could just jump in the water and fish if he wanted though. See ya. So yeah, we're gonna take that to him. He is a swimming bird, after all, that could jump in the water and catch fish. I just watched a video with a green heron that used bread to lure fish to the surface and then grabbed them with its crazy neck. That was pretty awesome. I'm gonna grab this cotton leaf here. All right, let's head over to Donald and see what he's up to. He should be pretty good at fishing by now, I would think. Hello, Donald. Okay, still gotta work on that Donald voice. Wow, Adam, nice fishing pole you got there. Now it's time to let Donald master a fishing teacher. I don't want to just like mysteries in this poor Donald, Donald. <laughs> First pack your tough on this little fishing spot. Okay, so we gotta do fish in here. We'll sit on a stump. We'll use A to cast the bobber out. Push A when it does that. Yep. We can get more slender branches, I guess. That's how you be. Give it a tell, you'll be near the big fish before you know it. <laughs> Alright, Donald. Let's go take a fish here. Take a gander and try to pull a little fish out from the water. I don't know why I'm so fascinated with birds, but they're just re a lot of them are just really fascinating to watch too. I before um before we got new phones, Danielle still had a text message from me. Oh, we got to tap it a bunch of times, I think. Uh, from me when I saw a raven in the parking lot of my old uh, building, the raven or it was a crow, and it had a piece of bread and it was dipping in a puddle, either to get water, I guess, or to uh, make sure that the bread was like soggy enough to eat. We put the fish back, so I guess that's nice. This is like a stocked pond, so we're not going to be taking too much fish. I did get an inky bubble, though, so I could make the, <laughs> the last part of that mini outfit if we really wanted to. Donald's so sassy. Where did you go, Adam? You caught one. That's the way to do it. But it does sit down. There's a lot more fish out there. So what other fish you can pull up? How about you catch two more kinds of fish for me? Oh, be great. You can do it, Adam. All right. Let's see if we can get more. All right, two more types of fish. That should be easy. A present pike. Is that a real fish? <laughs> it doesn't sound like it. I can only cast so far. Let's throw that little acorn out there. All right, and blam, 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 blam. I, I kind of pulled it a little early. Ah, oh, yeah, I didn't get anything. It got away. Oh, no. I need a turbo controller for this or something. I can tap it real fast. I don't think it would be that hard where we would need to tap it a ton of times. I wonder if there's any other fishing spots I can try. There we go. Yeah, we just gotta wait for the icon to pull up. Oh, he got away again. Do we hold it? Hold it or tap it? I'll have to try holding it next time. Sometimes I uh, mix up whether we need to hold it down or tap it a bunch. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try holding it this time, because th that's how you do it in Animal Crossing. This game seems to be aping Animal Crossing a few ways. Oh, uh, I think I, I pushed it once and then I pushed it again. That was weird. Present Pike. All right, we got another inky bubble. We're just taking the bubbles from the fish and putting them back. Let's see, I wonder if there's any other spots I can fish that might have different types of fish. It doesn't seem like day is passing, at least right now, but it might in the future. They're kind of still kind of teaching me how to do a lot of this stuff. We haven't even gotten our cafe yet. Oh, there we go, and now we tap A. I think we push it once to hook it, to set the hook, and then we tap it a bunch, maybe? I guess. I'll try holding it next time. I keep having to fight my instincts to tap. Let's get up and s I want to see if there's any other spots here that I can sit down. Could we sit on the dock? Ooh, look at that fish. Let's do that one. He might come to my baba here. He's like a bigger silhouette. Tap and tap. There we go. I think I just push it twice. Oh, tap it again. Tap it again. And tap it again. <laughs> and, oh, I didn't, oh, I got him, okay. It's a pursed pickerel. Ooh, added to my collection. We need one more type of fish, so I should look. Soap bubbles. Whoa, who's been pouring soap in this pond? Donald, you should be more careful. These fish are eating soap. Gross. All right, let's try this one. Come on, little guy. There we go. Tap it. Yeah, I think we just tap it whenever the thing pops up. It's like a quick time event, kind of. There we go. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, did we get it? It's another first pick, pick roll, though. Aha, a new size record. Nice. All right. That was a big one. I can tell by the shadow. He had a cloth in his mouth. Gross. Who is... It seems like Uncle Scrooge is just throwing out his trash in the pond or something. Because this is kind of some of the stuff you can buy from uh, McDuck's department store. That's a little weird. I think... I'm trying to see if there's any other types of silhouettes. I bet that one is a fairly normal fish there, too. But let's try it. I'll just throw it in the middle of these two. We need one more type of fish to satisfy Donald's craving for bubbles. For some reason, he wants us to get a bunch of different fish. I guess he wants to make sure that we are uh, learning what to do here. More soap bubbles. These poor fish. <laughs> what are they ingesting? Let's try this one. I feel like that one silhouette is always going to be the one type of fish. And the other is going to be the other type of fish. I don't know where we can find a third type of fish, Donald. You insane taskmaster. They're all present pike and perk pickerel. Perk per purse pickerel. <laughs> so they're all alliterations. Ah, oh, there's a branch. How did that fit in there? I picture the fish having like a huge mouth spread out like he's got his like cheeks all puffed out like a snake eating something with a gross stick stuck in him. Or he was just carrying it in his mouth, I guess. Man, how many of these things we're gonna get? That's a big one. Alright. Feel bad hooking fish. I like going fishing. I used to go with my dad all the time. And uh, it's, I don't know. It's fun, but I also don't like hurting the fish. We did take fish, I think, once back, and they were, like, in our sink. They didn't even die, and then we had to, like, cook them, and, yeah, it was kind of a weird process, but I, uh, I, I like catching them, but usually we'll release them. There's some strict fishing laws with how, you know, they can't be under a certain length if you're going to keep them anyways. Man, I feel like there's only two types of fish here. I got ten coins. Okay, that must have been a real heavy fish. Let me talk to Donald, because... I don't feel like there's any other types of fish in this pond. One more kind to go. You have to have the fish for a foul. You have no problem catching one more kind, right? Once you're really master, if you're a master, you're going to do it, Adam. Are there any other ponds? Because this is like, this doesn't look like we got any more fish around here. I bet it's one of the same silhouettes. It just, we haven't gotten lucky enough to get the one type. The fish are very responsive to acorns, I've also learned. They just love biting acorns for some reason. I guess it's just like an old timey Huck Finn type of bobber. I feel like I'm on Splash Mountain using a little little acorn and a piece of wood with a... It still has a leaf coming out of it. You didn't even pluck the leaf off of there. All right. I really like that aesthetic. I was uh, talking about in Donkey Kong uh, Country Tropical Freeze that Donkey Kong has that kind of like... It's got modern elements, but it's all made of like wood and stuff, and it's like rustic-y. <gasps> oh, no. Is this another purse pig roll? Come on. I wonder if I'll catch a fish and it has another fish inside of it, and that's the third type of fish. Because otherwise, I am not getting lucky here. I might cut ahead until we find another type of fish. Yes, there we go. A gift grouper. Just had the normal s the shadow there of the pickerel. Alright. Or not the pickerel, the uh, pike. There we go. They're all pee. Except for the grouper, obviously. <laughs> Caught three types of fish. There we go. Alright, I wonder what we can unlock now. Because we just hit ten. Oh, that's enough to open the cafe. Let's go back to the king. Thank you, Donald. You helped us earn a cafe just by fishing. For a little while. There we go. Whoa. Whatever is in that chest just makes it so that we can own a cafe. It must be something very important for business or something. I don't know. The king seems very fickle. He does look like the Pringles guy or the Monopoly guy, so I wouldn't, I don't know. You can't judge a book by its cover, but he seems like he might know more about playing board games and selling chip crisps. Oh, you did! You caught three days, you had to fish too! Now I know for sure you're a fish to be working with one more creation! Congratulations, Adam! I bet you had to hook more fishing, right? <laughs> okay, thanks, Donald. I might f not fish for a while, I'm all fished out, man. You had me fishing for days. Alright, I'm gonna grab a few more things. It's hard not to grab any stuff that we see when I see that sparkle, because I know I can sell it to McDuck's later if I want to buy more stuff. Alright, let's head into the castle. And, whoa, everybody's giving me multiple cards. That's another Mickey card. I got one from Donald. Donald and Mickey had, like, old-style cards, and then everybody else has, like, a really new style. And I think I grabbed another one from Minnie as well. So I guess they just give you cards occasionally, <laughs> not just the one. All right. Aha. Saving. Let's go over here. Hello, chest. And I'm going to tell the king that I'm getting it. I'm just going to open it right in front of him. In front of this guy with a feather and his big floopy mustache. Here we go! The cafe deed! Oh, I guess that makes sense. Unbelievable! The treasure chest, it's open! I think that's a guy. Is it 
Is it really? It is really. Then that must mean Adam. Oh, that was a lady. Hmm. <laughs> that must mean Adam. Ah, Adam. I see you've got a fine job of winning that trash. Please, Adam, come this way. <laughs> Hello, tiny king. I hereby bestow to you, Adam, the contents of this chest, the deed to the cafe. From now on, you shall be the new cafe owner, whether you like it or not. I'm certain you will do everything in your power to make the cafe a place where everyone can relax and enjoy themselves. The cafe manager will inform you of your duties. Find him waiting in the cafe. All right, let's go to the cafe then. It was. I looked at the sign for the cafe, and it just said cafe blank. Go to the cafe and become the owner. Cool, we're right in the shade of the castle. Should get good business. Goofy will come by for drinks and biscuits and stuff. What will the cafe become? That, my friend, is entirely up to you. I expect great things from you, Adam. I'm just gonna run into the ground <laughs> and not even come back. I'll just open it once and then leave and let it sit. Just because you're a silly king. All right, now I'm gonna do the best job in the cafe that I can do. Hopefully we can decorate it with all types of Disney merchandise and whatever. <laughs> all right, it's weird. We're just kind of feeding back into the Disney Corporation, but it's fun. I like Disney stuff. All right, let's go into the cafe. See, it says cafe dash dash, a place for everyone to relax. So I think I could probably name the cafe. What do we want to name this place? Cafe Mickey Mouse. Cafe Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Just to piss Mickey off. Oh, look at their little aprons. Oh, there you are. I heard the news from His Majesty himself. So you're the new owner? That's wonderful news. Thank you so much. You're everything I'd hoped for in an owner and more. You have a hat? You have a jacket? <laughs> everything. <laughs> you have ten stickers? That's all I could ask. I'll work extra hard and do whatever you tell me to do. I know we'll be a great team. Now, before we talk about the tasks the owner is expected to do, there are a few procedural things we need to take care of. First, this cafe needs a name. Yep, all right. So let's see. It can be eight letters. Cafe. Hmm. Let me think about this a little bit. All right. I christen the... Da, 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 da. Cafe Le Gouff. <laughs> all right. Let's use this name. <laughs> Welcome to Cafe Le Gouff. Uh, why? That's a perfect name. Trust you to come up with it. <laughs> He's making all these assumptions about my character. Uh, what, with that done, let me give you this. Your very own cafe uniform. Oh man, I got a cafe hat. I got an apron. Aw, uh, we can get out of this crazy clothes. Sneakers. We gotta put this on to work here. Oh, but as the owner, you aren't technically required to wear it. That's up to you. Now you're officially the owner of this fine cafe. The, the little apron looks like a mini colored thing. Congratulations, Adam. Ha ha! We got a sticker just for opening our own cafe. We're almost done with the prologue. All right, a couple more stickers here. Now let's get this cafe ready for its grand opening. Help you in any way I can. So let's work together and make it happen. Aha! As my, my life as a cafe owner begins now, I'll create a lovely cafe that will bring in lots of happy customers. Serving dishes with delicious, or customers with delicious dishes will allow you to collect coins from them. You can also enliven the cafe with a variety of dishes, lovely furniture, and outfits of the staff. So we can dress the staff up in different stuff. That's cool. Uh, your amount of work as owner will gradually increase. Talk to the manager see what you need for. First thing you need to do is make some delicious dishes we can serve to our customers. I don't know how to cook, though. All right, cook up a dish. There's no time like the present, so let's try to make you a dish to serve the customers right away. Three types of dishes, snacks, drinks, and sweets. There's no meals here? I guess it's a cafe. High-priced dishes will bring in more coins, will require rare materials. I'm just going to root up some mushrooms and berries and crap and then <laughs> just throw them on the table. Here you go. <laughs> oh, why don't we start with some light meals and drinks? All right, so I can now make food. Cafe name, okay. I think we could, we could probably change that, I guess. I, I like Le Goof. I don't think I'm going to change it. If you guys have a better name, I'll, I will take suggestions, but I think I'm going to stick. Oh, all we need is wheat fruit to make a pancake. Let's do it. I'm going to cook up some sweet pancakes. I don't even cook. I just throw it in a magic alchemy pot. There we go. It's like Dragon Quest. All right. This dish will produce 50 potions. I can also make... This is a milkshake, it looks like. No, no, pink happiness smoothie. All right. Throw those apples and little milk berries in there. All right. I could make a bunch of this stuff, because, yeah, we can, we can stock this place. I've got a lot of stuff. Let's make a few more real quick. Oh, it says it'll remove the food on the shelf. Oh, no! I shouldn't have done that. I think we have to only have one on order. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to make more than I need. All right, there we go. And we're good with that. Wow, that looks delicious. I'm sure our customers will be more than satisfied. So I made 50 portions of pancakes, and they'll just sit there until people buy them? Gross. Oops, I almost forgot to tell you something important. Chancellor will be stopping by to check this place out. 
I know we're not officially open for business yet, but the Chancellor will be our very first customer. Everything has to be just right. Let's make this visit, he'll remember. What were these guys doing in here? Just kind of hanging out in the sad, unopened cafe? Welcome! Oh wait, that was the lady. Congratulations on your grand opening. I bring best wishes on behalf of His Majesty as well. Under your ownership, Adam, there is little doubt that this cafe will soon gain worldwide attention. His Majesty expects much from you, in fact we all do. But enough stuffy formalities. Give me pancakes to stuff my face. I intend to enjoy my time here at this lovely cafe. A stack of flapjacks, my good man. Our very first customer. Let me put on my stuff, can I? Well, I don't think I can right now while I'm in the goof. Alright, let's go talk to the Chancellor. Hello, may I take your order? Look at the windows of this place. This is huge. It's like a log cabin, too. Oh, she's serving him. Alright. Here is your pink happiness smoothie and pancake. Hello. I guess I could talk to him when he's done. Oh, he's all done. He ate really quick. And I got some coins for that, I'm sure. Oh, I'll see you out, sir. Are you? Did you enjoy everything? <laughs> I'll be one of those wait staff that's like way too in your face. Oh, leave me alone. Let me eat. What incompatible flavors, Adam. Well, with this kind of quality, you'll be the most popular place in town before long. That will surely please his majesty. I wish you the best of luck. I hope everything was handmade and not thrown into an alchemy pot. That would not be good. The Chancellor seems very happy. It's giving me a huge confidence boost. Now to take the Chancellor's coins. Alright. So the manager will hold on to the coins until they come and collect them. Is he going to shortchange me? <laughs> the cafe provides the best way to get your hands on a lot of coins. Work hard and make the cafe a roaring success. Collect coins from the cafe menu. Alright. So let's grab our money. Do we get all the money or do we have to pay them? Alright. So we have 20 in sales. I'm going to collect those coins. Alright. Finish. I'm not paying them anything. They're just working for slave wages. Looks like the word's out. Everybody's talking about the fantastic cafe. Let's just open Castleton. Oh, oh my gosh. Are we going to get Mickey and stuff in here? Goofy stuffing his face with pancakes? I hope so. I, I bet Goofy could down a lot of pancakes. Did you hear about the cafe? Uh, they've finally got an owner. They'll be opening soon. Do you like my Donald hat? I don't know. It's not as cool as my Donald dress. Really? you got to go check it out. <laughs> We're a boyfriend and girlfriend who really loves Donald Duck. Mommy, uh, is the cafe open yet? I want to go. Oh, uh, so do I. Won't that be fun? He looks like a little Pokemon trainer youngster. All right. So all these people are going to come to the cafe. Le Goof is going to be the talk of Castleton. There sure is a big crowd outside the cafe. I wonder what's going on. <gasps> Maybe we should check it out. <gasps> I need to make some uh, snacks and stuff, too, because we have pancakes. I couldn't, it wouldn't let me make the last thing on there, but we'll see. <gasps> What's going on out here? I don't see a crowd, but there is a big glowy third. <laughs> Look at Mickey walk. He just walks with such purpose and glee. Huh? Well, if it is Adam, we heard the cafe was about to open. Can I have some pancakes, please? So inside, stop by. Hmm. They must have decided on an owner. Who could it be? It's me. I'm going to wave at the camera. Gosh, really? Gosh, you mean it's you? That sounds wow. like a thing Goofy would say. You did it. Hot dog, Adam! Congrats! <gasps> I mean, I would have run it, but... Adorable. Oh, how wonderful! It's the perfect job for you! I know you'll turn this cafe into something really special! <laughs> Your approval means the most to me, Pluto. All the preparations coming along okay so far? Yep, pretty good, Mickey. Oh. Fantastic! The owner will be open for business... The cafe will be open for business before you know it! <laughs> I'm a woman! In case you couldn't tell. Whoa! There. Okay, everyone, smile for the camera. I'm a weird ladybug nice camera. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Hello. you, Adam. I'm Cameron. Okay, you creep me out, Cameron. I pride myself on taking pictures of everyone's biggest and best smiles. How's about I take a picture to commer commemorate the cafe's grand opening? Wow! Great you idea! It. Let's do it! That'll be $50 for my photo. Good for you! Isn't this fabulous, Adam? Come on, everyone, get in frame. Wouldn't want to leave anyone out, after all. <laughs> okay, is that everyone? Big smiles now, and look right at me. Cheese! Well, that was the photo? <laughs> I'm a girl in it. If you collect happy stickers and become friendly with Disney characters, then you'll be able to take photos. Just as the photo is going to be taken, use your greenie on the control pad to strike a pose. Let's do it. I'm going to try to wave at the camera at the precise moment. This is intense. This is perfect. This is my one shot to get a picture with Mickey. Ready? Okay, I'm gonna do, I've got my greenings. I'm gonna change my outfit to my cafe one real quick because, you know, I wanna make sure. Oh, I don't have a, I, the apron might be an accessory or something. 
Do I have my cafe set? I do. There it is. Let's put it on. I don't have, like, a cafe hat, though. That's the only thing. I'd like to look at my hats real quick. Let's do that. Hats. Do I have anything that looks more cafe-ish? Not really. This actually fits better. I think I'll do the big old Mickey Posh hat. That's kind of <laughs> strange, but... All right, that looks better for the cafe. All right, let's take the photo. Ready? Oh, uh, there Three, we go. Oh, wait. Two, one, Wave! Haha, -ha, we did it! Fantastic, guys! All right, Goofy's just, or Pluto's just like, what's going on? I'm a dog. I don't know how photos work. All right, I think we're going to end out after this. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I'm having fun. Even if this game's a bit silly, it's fun to play through. Whoa. Perfect! Wow, that's one of the best pictures I ever took. Thanks, folks. <laughs> I'm awfully glad I got to be in this picture with everyone. So am I. How about you, Pluto? I could care less. <laughs> I'm a dog. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Pluto wouldn't miss it for the world. Plus, he has to come because I'm his owner. Hey, Adam, if you ever need a photo picture taken, you know who to See call. See you soon. See you later, and congrats. Oh. Okay, that's weird. Like a robot camera. All right, so we got four more stickers. We're done with the prologue, and I think we can move on to some of the other worlds here. I'll probably spruce up my cafe as soon as I can. We can make some furniture once Chip and Dale get that machinery ready. All right, the cafe is now officially open for business. Aha! The cafe is open. We got moon butter pancakes and pink happiness smoothies. All right. Oh, people are coming in. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoy this, and I'll see you next time for more Disney Magical World. Goodbye.